from Uhuru Kenyatta warning Kenyans. Mimi nawaambia chungeni sana. Hakuna kitu hatari kama mdomo tamu tukirinyagan revenge. Eh, wame ne mainge ne kufa u. Are we safe in Kenya? Ruto, let me tell you. You don't know who you are joking with. Who will you vote for? 2027 m- tunachagua mlevi. Mlevi. Anguka na. We are coming for you. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Derry. After regarding Gashagwa's impeachment, we saw so many people crying, so many people complaining, to the point that some of them went to visit him at a current hospital and some of them were crying while talking to the media. And listen to what this Gen Z, this Kenyan Gen Z had to say about people complaining after the former deputy president's impeachment. Listen to this. Impeachment like this, eh? Mumelia umejaza Kenya machozi na vitisho na vina msingi. Oh sisi tumeshaona. We have learned. Hata hiyo kiti usitupe tena. Tumekuona. Si nyinyi ndio mlikuwa mnaonea watu 18. Eh? Nyinyi ndio mlikuwa mmetuimbia hapa hatupangwi ngwi di 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 hatupangwi ngwi. Eh? Si uchawi. Ni maombi. Yaani Ruto anacheka na wauliza ati amfanyi nini? Mnasema hatupangwi ngwi. Anacheka na uliza mungedi, jua vile ni mewapanga. Impeachment moja hivi, hat, sijui chest pain, musha alaza hospitali. Mutuulize sisi wenye tumekua tukifuata babu. Unajua kabisa serious lisa hii, unaenda kupiga kura, anashinda. Muna kosa kushinda, munaenda kotini. Muna kosa kushinda, munaenda street, muna kosa kushinda. Muna ngoja another five years. Nini moja tu hivi? Moja tu, one betrayal. Hmm? Mumejaza Kenya na machozi. Sasa tupumui ni nyinyi sasa. Eh wakati mlituambia hapa nyinyi ndio mnajua kurauka to kera tene. Tego kera mo kirire tene kweka tia. Mulirauka kufanya nini? <laughs> Before Ruto was appointed as the president of Kenya, did the former president of Kenya Uhuru Kenyatta warn Kenyans about voting in William Samoei Ruto? Just listen to what Uhuru Kenyatta had to say about this. Mimi nawaambia chungeni sana. Hakuna kitu hatari kama mdomo tamu ikuje ikuambie vile atafanya na yale anakuambia atafanya wakati alikuwa na uwezo hakufanya lakini leo anakuambia mimi nitakuja kufa he he tunaelewana tunaelewana na ndipo nasema wenzangu wa Bungoma <laughs> wenzangu wa Bungoma. Wenzangu wa Bungoma. Msicheze na moto. Si mumecheza na moto na mumeumia. Si mumecheza na moto na mumeumia. Mnataka kurudi kwa moto ama mnataka kuokoka? Mnataka kuokoka? Njia ya kuokoka ni baba. Nawaambia. Uzee si ugo Uzesio nini? In Mombasa County, things were boiling. Things were boiling nicely. The residents of Mombasa County came out to call out Raila Odinga after he has disappointed Kenyans uh, for some years. Even to the point that he went on to uh, accept Adani Group to take over the JKA airport in Kenya. Just listen to what this Mombasa resident had to say about Raila Odinga. Namlaumu Raila, Raila namlaumu sana. Yeye ndo ameleta hii chochochocho hapa. Angeacha ile nyumba ikaungue ikateketea peke yao. Amechukua hapa mawaziri, amewajaza pale. Yeye ndo amechochea. Na kule AU nataka anguke, anguke, anguke. 
Anguka atatoka, atatoka. Maana yeye ndo amechochea hii. Watoto wameuliwa wakati wa maandamano. Rex Masai alikuwa kwanza. Hawajapata haki yao. Wao hawajapata haki yao kabisa. Wameuliwa. Kwa nini wabunge wanajadili mambo mengine ya ujinga? Wasojadili mambo kama hayo ya kina NHIF ya uwanja wa ndege. Waona hiyo hapo mimi kwangu nimekata nimekasirika hivi mimi pia naenda hospitali nasikia homa kwelikweli naenda hospitali abrasions has been a daily normal activity in Kenya TL elder was threatened he was told that he's going to be abducted and his mother will actually cry in his funeral but a fearless TL elder a fearless Kenyan he came out and told the president that i don't fear you we are fearless just listen to what TL elder had to say I am very angry today. Ruto sent five DCI goons led by Mr. Odhiambo to my mother's house in our village of Kwenmwanduka, Teri, in Sagala. Five goons. And they told my mother that if I show my face in Matuga, I am going to be abducted and I am going to be killed. She will build tents on her compound to bury me. Ruto, let me tell you, you don't know who you are joking with. I am Wabili Mwagodi. Am I scared? I am scared. But am I afraid of death threatening me with a good time? You think I want to suffer in your, in your country, in your Kenya? I will see you in Matuga tomorrow, 12 p.m. Ruto must go. Who's in Tisha Mimi? Who are you, Ruto? You are a murderer. You are a thief. Kirinyagans have done it again. They sent cows to their member of parliament by the name of Mary Maingi, who she voted yes in the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. So the people of Kirinyaga County, they decided to send cows to, to this MP's farm and to eat the crops and destroy the farm. Just take a look at this. Yes. The late politician of Kenya, Kalembe Ndile, he's still injecting in his grave. Just listen to what he had to say about the current regime and about the president of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto. Kwa ni ofisi ya ufisadi. Unakumbuka makindu motazi wali, wali, wali fisadi wa pale, wakakoniwa 300 million pale kwa ofisi ya Ruto. Uh, ule kemei uh, katika hiyo golden, uh, golden deal ya ekesa. Pia kemei akakufia pale. Kwa hivyo watu nataka waliflekti waangalia bile Ruto alikuwa na nguvu. In fact, saa ingine na julizanga uuru wakati anaenda ngambo kama president wa Kenya. Ile swali kwanza anaulizwa, aulizwi Kenya umewache ikuwa na mna gani. Anaulizwa Mr. President, how do you handle corruption in your country? And your deputy president is the chief priest of corruption. Iyo ndiyo kitu anaulizwa. How are you going to do about it? How are you going to go about it? Because your, your deputy is the, 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 the main actor in, the, in, in terms of corruption. Kwa sababu Ruto alikuwa amenyakua ame shamba ya Mukesh. Ruto alikuwa amenyakua eh, Langata Primary School. Hiyo ndiyo nataka kukumbusha Ruto mahali mambo yake yalianza. Kwa sababu wakati uko na power, angekuwa ni mwizi wa zamani na aache wizi. Bila songo alikuwa atatuambia yeye aliiba zamani na ameacha wizi. Eh, lakini Ruto bado aliendelea na kutaka kuiba na kwa maoni yangu vile nasema ni lazima president hao ameulizwa hiyo maswali ya deputy wake. Lazima akienda kila mahali anaulizwa how are you going to deal with your deputy uh, who is corrupt in Kenya. The people of Kenya have been seeing a mysterious white truck, a white lorry being escorted by police officers and people are asking themselves like what are they carrying inside this truck? What is the agenda or what is the project? Take a look.
So tell me in the comments down below what you think is being carried inside this truck. People of Kenya have been comparing the former president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, and the current president of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto. And people are asking themselves, would you rather vote for a drunkard or vote for a born-again Christian? Take a look at what our brother had to say about this. Guys, I'm Lakini 2027, mtu yote atakuja na buwana asifiwe, uyo siwezi kumuamini. Mtu yote atakuja kuniambia mwadha ni agoshu. Mwadha ni agoshu. Uyo siwezi ya mini hata kidoko. 2027 tunachagua mlevi. Mlevi. Hatuta chagua mtu wa kanisa tena. Kama watu wa kanisa hata wezi sameyana. Mbathali mlevi. Mlevi at least wangekua unachapa chupa mbili. Muna sao mambo ingini. Churches have been a playing field for politicians for so many years. So many years. And many of these politi politicians, they put millions of shillings into those churches. The pastors accept them. The men of God accept those millions. But yet when you look around those counties, those places, those areas, there's no single development. God's projects are in high numbers. Just listen to this. Skuile alikuwa nakuja kwa hizo kanisa zenyu. Anawatole ya mchango. Mbona siku hiyo mkuu mnakataa hiyo pesa mnasema imeibiwa? Saa hii ndio mmejua imeibiwa saa hii majenzi wameenda kwa barabara ndio mmejua hiyo pesa mlipewa imeibiwa. Si mchukue hiyo pesa murudishe state house basi. E, kama mmekasirika sana na mnaona for sure alikosea juu mnatoa statements kama mmekunja mpaka mmeleta hizi nyama huku mbele ni vile mmekasirika. Si basi mukasirike kabisa murudishe hizo pesa state house na muite TV tuone mkirudisha. Sincerely speaking, when young people are looking at us, and especially for us, men and women of the, of the cloth, so we are called the clergy. Muna kula na mtu, anakuita kwake. Muna kula, muna kunywa, na muna mbaba moja. Alafu muna simama huku inje, muna dhatua statements. Nani mtu muluko muna kula na ee. As in for sure, mimi yenyewe, Ninge kuwa prezi, pia mimi ninge fika musho. Ninge shanga amazeni, ilikuwa nakula na nani yawa? Ulikuwa nakula na manyoka? Si watu? Mtu muna kula na emu, na omba na emu, na kunyo na emu, alafa na rudia na kutolea ma statement. Na sa hiyo umemdunga mbaka ya macho. Sincerely speaking, wacheni tuwokoke. Kama for sure, umesimama na mtu. Eh, simama na ee. A brother loves at all times. Yeah. And a brother is born for the days of adversity. And yes, iron sharpens iron. So you challenge each other behind the scenes. But usikuje kuwa nika mtu mmekula na ee, mmekunywa na ee, na mkomba na ee, mbele za mungu, na mtu wa seme ni memuita nyoka. In fact, tuwache maneno, tuludikuwa neno. Nanda soma leo luga zote mbili, ya kizungu na kiswahili. How easy is it for the citizens, for the people of Kenya, for the locals, for the mwanainchi to recall their member of parliament, their MP or their senator? How easy is it? Senator Kajuang, has proposes amendment of law to make it easier for the citizens. But will, it, will this really work under this corrupt regime? Listen to this. A president or a deputy, it takes only 45 senators to remove it. And yet we, the members of parliament, we have written laws that make it impossible for us to be removed from office. It is my intention to bring an amendment and it is not a constitutional amendment. It is a simple statutory amendment to the Elections Act. If today you want to recall your member of parliament, you cannot recall him until he's convicted by a court of law. And after conviction by a court of law, you must get signatures of 30% of voters. And after getting signatures of 30% of voters, there must be a referendum on the recall, which 50% of elected voters must participate. The threshold is higher than amending the constitution. The threshold for recalling a member of parliament or a senator is higher than changing the constitution of Kenya. That threshold is inconsistent with the constitution. It violates article 99 of the constitution of Kenya. And uh, if the deputy president is removed from office, and that is an instrument that is available, available to us. 
we must reflect. We must also make it possible for citizens to recall their members of parliament without undue bureaucracy and undue obstacles. So Kenyans, do you think if this law is implemented, will it make a difference in this country, making it easier to recall your MPs and senators? Do you think it will make a difference? Tell us in the comments down below. A president or a deputy, it takes only 45 senators to remove it. And yet we, the members of parliament, we have written laws that make it impossible for us to be removed from office. Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm here to address you. You must go. Ruto must go. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host, Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.